All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys may know, the next confirmed Extreme Z Awakening on Global is going to be for the Tech Fusion Zamasu. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick breakdown of his EZA details as well as the Extreme Z battle event so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once this thing drops. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start here with the Extreme Z Battle event first. As you can see, the release date is April 29th, 2020, which is in just over a week from now. And the weakness for this event is the Worthy Rivals category, led by the... Is it Fizz Piccolo? I think it's Fizz Piccolo. Or uh, I think the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta also leads the category. But uh, either way, I think any Super Int team, like a solid Super Int team, should do just fine here. Now moving on to the levels here, as you can see, pretty standard stuff. As you go along, you're getting some tech orbs, some medals for Zamasu, as well as some Kai's. And after level 3, he gets additional damage reduction of 51% against AGL types. So needless to say, don't bring any AGL units or as few AGL units as possible. And after level 7, he gets an additional damage reduction of 60% against AGL and STR types. And then after level 9, SSR characters or lower can cause only 2 million damage or less. And after level 12, he gets additional damage reduction of 71% against AGL, tech, and STR types. And finally, after level 19, he gets additional damage reduction of 81% against AGL, tech, STR, and all extreme types as well. So basically, we don't want to bring any of those types, but in theory... A Super Fizz team could do pretty good here if the team is good enough, but once again, I recommend a team of mostly Super Int units if possible. And uh, as you go along, as you can see, more medals, rainbow medals, gold medals, silver medals. And once it's all said and done, after the first 30 levels, you're looking at all the medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken, Fusion Zamasu, enough tech orbs to rainbow a tech unit, and also 11 tech Grand Kai's and 30 Dragonstones. Quick look at the missions here. We have one mission for one Dragonstone, one for two, and another for one more. So that's four more stones for a total of 34 Dragonstones you can acquire from this event. And now let's move on to the actual Zamasu himself and we'll do a little comparison between the pre Extreme Z Awakening details and the post Extreme Z Awakening details, starting with the leader skill Extreme Class Key plus three, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%. That's the post. Extreme Z Awakened Leader skill, of course. Really, really good, just general Extreme Class Leader skill. And his pre Extreme Z Awakening uh, Leader skill was Extreme Class Key Plus 1, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 70%. So now it's Key Plus 3 instead of Key Plus 1, and HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%, as opposed to 70%. And his uh, new leader skill, oh sorry, his new super attack, immense damage and greatly lowers defense and raises extreme class allies attack by 30% for one turn. Whereas his old super attack was just immense damage and greatly lowers defense. So now he also increases attack of all extreme class allies on the same rotation by 30%, which is pretty good. And his new passive, of course, this is always the most important part, attack plus 100 and 40 percent which is a massive massive boost super class allies attack minus 10 percent which is the same as before and super class enemies attack and defense minus 20 percent extreme class realm of gods category allies defense plus 50 percent so you compare that to his old passive of just attack plus 120 percent which was still pretty damn high and that made him hit really really hard before and attack minus 10% for super class allies so now he gets 20% more attack which makes him hit even harder in addition of course to the fact that he gets more attack with the extreme Z awakening and he also will debuff super class enemies attack and defense minus 20% that's new as well and this support uh, this support portion here where he gives extreme class realm of gods category allies defense plus 50% is also new and of course this applies to him as well so um, he now does have a little bit more defense not a ton still he's still gonna get hit, hit like really hard on um, some of the harder events in this game like he's not good I don't think for the legendary Goku event I don't think he's good for super battle road or anything like that I mean if you bring him 
I'm sure it's possible still to clear the event with some other tanks on your team, but he himself is gonna hit, gonna get hit really hard. I mean, he's gonna hit hard. He's gonna do a lot of damage, but he's also gonna get hit, get hit pretty hard. Why is this so hard for me to say right now? He's also gonna get hit pretty hard in addition to hitting hard. Um, the good thing is that if you do bring a team of mostly extreme class of gods allies or just units, um, he's gonna be buffing them. You know, making them a little bit more tanky. So. I guess he'll make up for his own lack of defense by giving some other people more defense or other units more defense, but um, like I said, he's still not that good of a tank. His main calling card, his main thing is just to hit really hard, and trust me, he hits really, really hard. Um, of course, his links stay the same as before, his categories are the same as before, and uh, his max stats post Extreme Z Awakening at rainbow status. 18,168 attack compared to its previous max of 15,094. So over 3,000 more attack at rainbow status with uh, the Extreme Z Awakening. And then you're looking at about 3,000 more HP and also about a thousand, uh, yeah, about a thousand, actually 1,300 more defense. So pretty big. Uh, boost in defense as well, which of course will help with the tanking too. So that is the Extreme Z Awakening for the tech Fusion Zamasu. Um, I would say that he is a good Extreme Z Awakening. Definitely a very, very solid EZA. Um, is he broken? No, he's not like Fizz Vegito Blue, which was and still continues to be a very broken Extreme Z Awakening. This guy, really good. Hits really hard, a lot of fun to use, but um, not like crazy busted or anything like that. Am I so excited for him? I definitely am because he's going to make that extreme Realm of Gods team with like the LR Goku Black, with the Fizz um, Goku Black, the base Goku Black, and also all the other Zamasu's and Goku Black, so on and so forth. He's going to make that team even better than it was already, so that's going to be fun. But uh, for the most part, you know, he's just a solid, solid EZA, and uh, that's it. Now, before we end this video, there are two other EZAs I want to quickly cover that are also coming to global at the same time. And uh, those two EZAs are for the Int Super Saiyan Teen Trunks as well as the Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta. And they both get their Extreme Z Awakening medals from this Extreme Z Area event here, which I know people are not big fans of. I actually, I'll be honest, did not even do the uh, grind for these three units just because I didn't think they were really worth my time. Um, it would have taken a lot more grinding to like actually get the units to run this event too because of course for all Extreme Z areas you're limited to a certain pool of units, right? So these are the units you can use for this Extreme Z battle event and a lot of them are like SA1 for me are not Token Awakened so I was like I'm not about that grind man but that being said I think this Trunks and Vegeta are actually a little bit more worth it, alright? So we'll go over the details here for the Trunks first. His leader skill now is all types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%, which of course is meh, but you know, it's it's there. And his uh, the super attack is finish buster, which raises attack, so he infinitely stacks attack, which is really good, and causes supreme damage to the enemy. His passive is keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% per Super Saiyans category ally self-excluded attacking in the same turn which means that if you're running a rotation with him as well as two other super saiyans um units on the same rotation then he's going to be getting an additional attack and defense plus 60 percent for a total of 130 percent attack and defense and key plus three and that's a pretty solid boost man i mean compare him to before where he was getting attack plus 2500 and key plus two at the start of turn. At the start of turn, um, the improvement is massive, right? I mean, 130% attack and defense from 2,500 attack. It, it's a big boost for sure. But uh, does that make him better than you know some other Super Saiyan Trunkses in this game? Are you gonna run him over some of the other Super Saiyan Trunkses in this game? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, but still. I mean, if you are a newer player or you don't have other Super Saiyan Teen Trunkses uh, and this guy's your best option, then this EZA is still very, very solid. All right, for sure, for sure. He's uh, a good sub for a Super Saiyan's team, no doubt. Um, what else? What else? 
Uh, that's pretty much all there is to know about him, actually. I mean, he gets, you know, a big boost in stats once again. 14,755 attack, 16,164 HP, and 10,812 defense at rainbow status compared to 12,495 or 93 attack. Um, so 2,000 more attack than before with the EZA. And moving on to the Vegeta here. All types, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 40% is his new leader skill. He raises defense, so he infinitely stacks, which of course means... He's going to be good for longer events, right? Like Legendary Goku events and so on and so forth. And he causes supreme damage to enemy. His passive is key plus three. Okay, so this passive is a little bit gimmicky. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of it. But um, he can be good, I guess, in certain situations. I just don't really like how the passive works. So he gets key plus three. Attacking event plus 70% plus an additional attack plus 30% up to 120%. And chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 35% at the start of each turn when HP is 80% or less. So basically the way this works is that every single time at the start of a turn, if he has or if your team has less than 80% HP, then he gets an additional attack plus 30% and a critical hit chance plus 7% um, for the rest of the battle, right? So let's say next turn, you start the turn with uh, more than 80% HP, like you heal up, then he'll still keep that additional boost at least that's my understanding and then the next time you fall below 80 percent hp again at the start of the turn where he's on rotation he'll get another attack plus 30 percent and critical hit chance plus seven percent and uh, this of course will build up until he reaches a max of additional 120 percent and max of additional 35 percent critical hit chance so in theory he could hit really hard he has a very high ceiling for his attack boost and also critical hit chance but um, I don't think in most search situations, in most events, he's ever going to reach that max. And I just wish that it wasn't such a gimmicky passive, you know? Like, I, I feel like the Trunks, honestly, is better, at least more consistent, just because it's much easier to get his full boost of 130%, right? So uh, there's the Vegeta. Like I said, not a huge fan, but still much better than he was before with Key plus 3 and Attack plus 2500 when HP is 80% or below. He used to be one of the worst units in the game. At, le at least like worst Dokkan Awakenings in the game, no doubt, before this EZA, right? So um, I'm not complaining about this massive, massive improvement. I just think that this passive could have been a little bit easier to fulfill, I guess, easier to actually activate. Anyways, there's the Vegeta. And uh, as far as stats go, he gets a max of 14,352 attack post Extreme Z Awakening, 15,927 HP, and 10,862 defense at rainbow status. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. That's all the information I have for you today. Hopefully, you guys learned something in this video that you didn't know before. And, uh,. Hopefully you guys are excited for one of these EZAs, most likely the Texamasu, but who knows, maybe you guys are huge Trunks fans. So uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And uh, as always, hold on, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyways, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out